All right. Hey, 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 legends. Fraser Brooks here coming to you live today from Dubai. Hope you are doing absolutely incredible. It's 7 p.m. UK time on Tuesday, which means it's time for uh, Tuesday night live. Super excited about today because I want to share with you something that I think is probably being the most important graphic or visual that I've ever seen in the network marketing space that I was taught by my dad many, many years ago. Maybe, wow, of maybe 30, well, maybe 28 years ago. I was super young at the time. I wasn't involved in network marketing at the time. And it stuck with me ever since. And it's got me out of tricky situations. It's got me out of bad situations in the network marketing space. And I know it's going to help you too. So if you are new here and the first time you've ever tuned into a Tuesday Night Live, then every Tuesday, 7 p.m. UK time, you can feel free to come on to Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube, uh, and you can kind of take part in in this. And today, obviously, as I said, I want to share with you the number one reason why you will fail at network marketing until you know this, right? So there's something that you need to know, otherwise you will keep failing and failing and failing and failing and failing. It will most likely make you go, ah, I get it now. And then I want to share with you five things you need to know. All right, so you need to know this main thing and then there's five things you need to know in order to get better at recruiting, in order to win. And then at the end, I've got something super exciting I want to share with you guys as well. So here's how this works. I use a platform uh, on my kind of computer here, on a computer, uh, on my pla- on the computer here, which allows me to stream once, but it goes to all the, all the different platforms at a time. So on your end, you might see that there's 40 people on Instagram. You might see that there's 10 people on YouTube. You might see that there's five people on Facebook, whatever it might be. But on my end, I see every single one of you combined and I see all your comments. I see Lottie. Hey, Lottie. Maria. Hey, superstar. Elena. Leanne. Yvonne. Uh, Del. Right, I see. I see all. I see all of you guys. Agita. I see. Uh, hey girl. I see. Uh, Akai. Ak- Akaito. me. Right. I see all you guys. I see Janie. I see Amelia. I see you guys. Right. And I see all the times you whack that love heart button. And I see all the times that you comment. All the times that you 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 interact as well. So if throughout this live you get any value and you feel that someone in your network marketing business or one of your network marketing friends, someone in your network will get value, then just do me a massive a favor, hit the share button, share it with them, all right? Share it onto your feed, share it into a group, share it into your messenger. It will mean the world to me. So uh, I have taken three weeks off, right? I was in Thailand uh, for two weeks, and then last week I was planning on on going live, but I actually got a little bit sick, uh, like not like super sick, but like it was not going to be fun for me to bring the heat, bring the energy, uh, bring the value to you guys while I was sick, so uh, we delayed that till this week. All right, so let's get into it. Let me draw this. Now, even if you've seen me do this before, because I've done it a lot, stick with it because I've kind of updated it uh, with my own little spin uh, on things. So here we go. I want you to let me know in the chat, for those of you who are happy enough to engage, how many customers and team members did you have in your business when you first joined? Like, think about it. When you first joined your business, you got that back office, you clicked on it, how many customers and how many team members did you have, right, that you personally brought in? Because I'm going to have a guess that it was something along the lines of zero, right? And everyone in network marketing starts with zero. Eric Warry, guess how many he had? Zero. Les Brown, when he did network marketing, guess how many he did? He had zero. Jim Rohn, guess how many he had? Zero. J- uh, Larry Thompson, guess how many he had? Zero. Bill Britt, Dexter Yeager, Jesse Lee Ward, guess how much they had? Zero, zero, zero. Guess how many I had? Four. No, I'm kidding. I had zero, right? My dad, zero. Zero, zero, zero. Everyone starts with zero. So there's nothing different for about me versus you guys. There's nothing. We all started at the same place, zero. But in general, this is kind of what happens to people's business, all right, or, or their emotion. So this is time. And this could be success, it could be money, it could be feeling, it could be energy, it could be excitement, whatever you determine this to be, right? It, it, it works with all of it. So you join. How fired up are you? You let me know in the chat. Like, how fired up are you about your business when you first joined? Like, you know nothing, and it's a blessing that you know nothing. All you know is why you joined. All you know is that this could change your life. All you know that this is the hope that you finally needed. All you know is that this could be the thing that allows you to go up yours to your boss, right? And be full-time network marketer, full-time work from home, or fall into the trap of believing the residual income is going to be achieved. I'm here to tell you, unfortunately, I believe now residual income, not for everyone. There'll be a minute, 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 minute percentage of people who will actually get 
residual income, right? Residual income is being what we assume residual income is. The definition of residual income really is income that you income that you earn through work that you did once in the past, right? Now that is not a myth, but the idea of retiring after four or five years and not having to do any work ever again for a full-time life-changing income is actually highly unlikely. And I just want to make sure that you guys know that because if you're here for two, three, four, five years, right? And then you want to be paid for 50 years, like hundreds of thousands of dollars, there's no industry in the entire planet, in the entire world that allows you to be able to do that. The idea is that you make enough money and have this huge realization in three, four, five years that makes you allow, allows you to be obsessed with this profession so that you always want to do it, okay? All right, so here's what happens, right? You, a lot of you guys said I was super fired up, I was nervous, I was scared, but I was also excited, excited, nervous at the same time, I was excited, nervous. me too, right? I was the same, I was super excited, I was super nervous. But this is what happens. You, your upline, let me get this out of the way, see if I can move that out of the way. Your upline tells you, hey, go read Rich Dad Poor Dad, and you're like, oh my God, they should teach this in school. Then you jump on your first Zoom call, and everyone's dropping sevens into the chat, and everyone's fired up, and you're like, wow, these are my people. And then you get your first customer, and you're like, oh my God, this is the best thing ever. And then that first commission check comes through $14, and you're like, it freaking works. And then you get your first team member, and you're like, I've got leverage, I have a business, what do I do now? I actually don't know what I do, but screw it, I'm fired up. And then you go to your first event, and you're like, this is the greatest thing I have ever seen. Why doesn't the entire world do network marketing? There's all this emotion, you're feeling absolutely fired up and then something happens and everyone in network marketing has this moment. Now, I can't, I, can't, I can't tell you. I can't tell you what it is because it will vary. It could be you get sick, you go on vacation, you, fi you find out that you're pregnant. Now, I'm not saying that getting sick and going on vacation is the, the equivalent or the same as getting pregnant. It's not. But like, there are different things that happen that make you realize Ah, I got to put my business on hold. Why? Because it's no longer the priority. Getting healthier or getting better is the priority. Enjoying time with your family becomes the priority. Becoming like removing all stress from my from my surroundings and environment to make sure this baby is in a, in, in a peaceful environment, a positive environment. That's the priority. So guess what happens? As it flipping should, the energy starts to dip and you reach a plateau. Before, you were like, oh my God, there was 37 people on the Zoom call, everyone's dropping sevens, woo! And now you're like, oh, I probably missed this one because you know, I wanna chill, I wanna chill out and watch Netflix with a cup of tea. Like, is this relatable to any of you guys? Because I'm telling you this, this is the journey that everyone has. Now, is it as smooth as this? No, but the phases are always there. You have the initial excitement. Now this, your initial rise is based on the level of your goals, right? For those of you who are super ambitious, let me know if you're super ambitious, by the way. Like for those of you who are super ambitious, right? You've got these huge goals, right? You usually have this big initial rise. Those of you who are like, ah, well, you know, I'm just kind of kind of see how it goes. The unambitious people, there's a lot of un un unambitious people in network marketing. It kind of like, it doesn't go like this or it doesn't go up so high. It maybe kind of just whoop, a little rise, right? I've got a lot of ambitious people in here. I like it. Now, what happens after the plateau? Well, the first thing you've got to understand is you always rise or fall based on a plateau. Think about it. Go and watch the diving in the Olympics. They don't dive off a diving board like this. They don't dive off a diving board like this. The diving board is flat. It's a flat surface. We need that. Plateaus are healthy. Plateaus are good. But in this example, and it happens to everyone in network marketing, they've had that initial growth, right? Your, your initial rise is based on the level of your goals. You have that growth, then something stops you, whether it's your control or other uh, internal it's from internal control or external control and then you stop you stop and then because you've stopped you've already gone through maybe you've already gone through your warm market list when you get going again you don't have that initial energy that you once had because it wasn't just a oh let's see how this thing goes it's more of like this is like my job now and you try and do the bare minimum because at work Chances are, I'm not saying it's all of you, chances are you try and get, you try, at work, you try and get away with making the most amount of money for the absolute least amount of effort. 
The, ma- the most amount of money you're going to make is what's on, what's on your, your job description, what's on your pay packet. But you try and do the absolute bare minimum to get away with making that money. Not everyone, but a large majority of people. So what happens? Oh, unfortunately, it starts going down. And you start blaming everything before you blame yourself. Isn't it funny how new human nature does that? And I'm going, to, I'm going to go on a bit of a rant in a minute. And I probably shouldn't. But I am, because it's been pissing me off recently. Excuse my French. Right? I'm going to hold it in for a moment to see if it passes. But if it doesn't, it's coming out. All right? So you start going, you, you go to the events. Oh, there's not 250 people there anymore. There's 232. Oh, whoop de doo it's, it's decreased by 5%. But now you start saying, oh, the company's going backwards because there's less people at the events. Then you jump on a Zoom call. Oh, no, there's not 37 people try, dropping sevens anymore. There's 32 and they've changed the number to nine. I don't like the number nine. That's rubbish. Then the customer that you did have decided not to reorder. Oh, the product's not as good as it used to be. It's not as big, good as it used to be. And then the team member that you did have, who was your mom, said, you know what, I only did this to support you and now I want out, right? And it starts coming down and down and down and down. Then you're in a downward spiral. You stop reading the books. You stop listening to the podcast. You stop watching the YouTube videos. You stop speaking to your mentor. You stop going to the events. Everything stopped. And as I mentioned, the reason why you stopped in the first place might not have been in full, of, like in your full control. There would have been something that became more of a priority to you, whether that was because it is more important to you or your network marketing business, you just didn't see it as important as it, as it was now, as it is now, right? That's, that's totally normal. It's totally fine. It happens to everyone at some point. It could be after a week, a month, a year, five years, right? It just happens, okay? Now, this is what happens. You get down to the bottom and it can't get worse. You can't have a minus business, right? You can't have, right, oh God, I owe the, gov- I owe the government three distributors and two customers. Oh, what am I gonna do? I, I don't know what to do. You're up all night and you're thinking, how am I going to give the government three customers and two distributors? I don't know. You don't owe anyone any customers. You can't. You might have, still might have one customer left, but you feel like you've got nothing left. Uh, you've got something to build on. You might feel that, hang on a minute, I had, I, had tw- I had 22 team members. Now I have two. One of them's me. It's better than zero. But the thing that you have more than you didn't have is experience. You've now had the lesson of, This is how far I grew. This is the reason why it plateaued. And this is what's created the dip. Once you get through the first dip, you can get through any dip. But this is what the majority of people... And again, at the bottom of the dip, it plateaus. So we've had the initial rise, which is based on the level of your goals. Then we have a plateau, right? Plateau here, plateau here. And then we have the dip, right? This is where all the money's made, by the way. The dip. This is where all the money is made. Now, you're going to always fall to the level of your systems, right? Always. You're always going to fall to the level of your systems unless the level that you fall down to is one, right? Meaning like it's just you left, right? Hey, Kelly. It's always going to be the case. Always. Now, this is what happens. A lot of people go, Oh, the business has changed. The product's not that great anymore. The events aren't as good. They'll make up excuses. Why? Because people do not like to blame themselves before anything else. The word me is in the word blame, guys. If you take the word blame, blame, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 me. Oh, it's this, 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 me. Oh, but the company stopped paying, me. Who who chose to join it? You did. The moment that you change your mindset, the moment that you change your mindset of realizing that you are actually the only person to blame, it's it's when you're going to win at everything. Right? So it's, it's funny, I had to teach, it's taken me a while to teach this with Svetlana of like, oh, if, they, if this didn't happen, we would be like this. Or if this didn't happen, we'd be like this. It's like, hey, we're the only, we're the only people who control this from this, point, mom, this from this moment on. We're the only people who can, uh, we can, who can change this. So we have to make sure, what's that saying? The book stops with me, right? It is. It starts with you and it ends with you. So you got to level up and freaking get on with it. So, this is what happens. People quit here, 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 here. They quit here. They go, ooh, 
another company. And they come all the way over here and they start again. Guess what? They've got no team members, no distributors. Surprise! So what happens? Their initial rise is based on their, their goals. And it might go a little bit higher this time because they realize what's possible and they've got bigger goals. And guess what? They've all got, also got loads of contacts from their existing team and the teams of other people in their existing company. So what do they do? They get a little bit more results and they start shouting about it. Oh, I have more success over here in three weeks than I had over there for six, six months. Come join my thing. But guess what happens? Something happens. The momentum slows down. They find out they're pregnant. They get sick. Their husband gets a new job or loses their job. Something happens in the family, whatever. And something becomes a priority more than their business. So guess what then happens? A plateau comes. And then guess what follows the plateau? Whether it's a day, a week, a month, a year, two years later, whatever. The dip then comes. And guess what then happens? Oh, well, you know, it wasn't the same as it used to be. And like I got told this thing that it wasn't actually true. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, hang on. Me. I'm the issue. I'm the problem. I need to fix this. So guess what? They keep joining other companies or joining other opportunities. Joining this. Until they realize that you will rise again based on your leadership and the money in network marketing is made in the dip because what follows the dip and the plateau is then a series of waves which is where all the growth is. In fact, I challenge anyone and if you can find anyone, I'll give you $100. I could probably give you a lot more. If you can find someone who is, has been a top income earner For 10 years, made millions of dollars, who hasn't gone through something like this, I'll give you $100. $100. I I can make it $1,000. Why? Because there's no one. There's no one in this profession or any profession that hasn't had some sort of dip that should wipe them out. But guess what? It doesn't. Because the dip is there to test you. The dip will give you more lessons, more skills, more learnings than any other part of the business. Any other part. Any other part. You know, here, it's energy, excitement. It's like, woo, go me. Here, there's nothing there. The dip, why am I not quitting? Because I don't know how. My dad used to say that all the time. I didn't know how to quit. Didn't know who to write into. Like, I quit, so I didn't. Right? You just got to keep going and going and going and going and going and going and you get through it. Now, this is the thing that upsets me. And I've had enough of it, so I'm bringing it up. I've not done like a reel about it. I've not done a story about it. I'm doing it for you guys who are tuning in, who obviously, the majority of you guys tune in. By the way, how many of you guys tune into these these Tuesday Night Lives? Uh, How many of you guys tune into these Tuesday Night Lives regularly? And then let me know, like just comment new if this is the first one you've been on to. Because I've got to say it, because it it annoys me so much is when people talk badly about network marketing when they leave the profession. Things like this, oh, oh, I'm so relieved. I'm so relieved to be out of that network marketing thing. Woo, my desk is going crazy. I'm so relieved to be out of this network marketing thing. Oh, it's full of narcissists. Oh, it's exhausting month end. I'm so glad to be done with it. And then they go on to what they're doing now. They're using it as a hook to all the people who are the low-hanging fruit, the people who are considering to quit network marketing, or the the people who have already quit network marketing, to be like, yeah, that's me, that's me, that's me, that's me. Woo, yeah, I'm so glad someone said it. Which means someone said it. People have been saying it for years and years and years. Why? Because they're looking for validation. They're looking for the reason. Because when they're blaming and blaming and blaming other things and other people, it's because they don't want to blame themselves and realize it was them who didn't stick with it. And guess what? The same will happen in the other industries. Oh, I'm doing MMR now. MMR, MRR, MMR, whatever. Isn't it like mumps, measles, and rubella? I don't even know. MRR, whatever it is. That's going to go, oh, I'm crushing it. I'm crushing it. This is amazing. And then guess what will happen? There will be something that becomes more of a priority than that. They will have a plateau, and then they will dip. And guess what you don't have? You don't have in those things a community, accountability, mentorship. You're on your freaking, you're on your own. I'll tell you this, it's lonely at the top. 
But in network marketing, at least there are people around you. I miss her too, Michelle. Daily. You wouldn't, you wouldn't imagine. They have a dip. And they keep doing the same thing and the same thing. But you know what really frustrates me? Network marketing is the reason why they're able to find these other opportunities, why they're open to these other opportunities, and why they've got the skills to make initial money in the first place. Never, ever, ever poo-poo, crap, or shit on the things that made you who you are. Ever. Even if it's going to make you a few quid here or there. Drives me nuts, man. Drives me nuts. Because it is the greatest industry in the world. Does that mean that it's going to be the greatest industry for them long term? No. But it'll be the reason for why they're great. Hey, I'm not, what you, I'm not doing what you guys are doing right now. I left the field. It became a platform for me, a stepping, stepping stone for me. But I will never, ever, 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 ever leave serving this profession because I freaking love it and I know it changes lives. So anyone talks to you bad about, oh, I've done that network marketing thing. Oh, really? And you're not doing it anymore? No, no, you know, da, 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 da. Okay, now you know. Anyone who did it and left it, they blame blaming other people more than, they won't blame themselves. People just, when have you ever gone, oh, I, I left that. Why did you leave? Oh, because I sucked. No one ever says that. No one ever says that. He goes, oh, well, you know, like, it's a pyramid thing, and like, the, the product was expensive, or like, everyone was right about it being like this scam thing, and la, 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 la. Crazy. All right, calm down. So, this is the MLM curve. This is the journey that you will all go on. Establishing where you are right now. If you are here, amazing. The money's coming real soon. If you are here, you're through the worst of it. If you're here, congrats. Amazing. If you're here, I am so freaking fired up for you. So fired up for you. Let's go. All right, so let me give you five things that I know you need to know. All right, five things. How many? Five things that I know that you need to know in order to win here. I want to make sure you win long term. I want to make sure that if you do start blaming things, you blame yourself. Why? Because when you blame yourself, there's always a way out. I love that about play when, when you blame yourself. There's always a way out. If you blame other, play other people, they're in control of that. Oh, I didn't hit my rank because uh, this person on my team didn't rank advance. Blame them. No, that's, that's on you. Why didn't, they rank? Why didn't they hit that rank? Why were you waiting for them to hit that rank when you go get someone else, bring someone else in? Michelle says, I'm in a dip right, I'm in a dip right now. Amazing, Michelle. Congrats. You're welcome, Stacey. Ah, oh, you guys, I love you guys. All right, so here we go. Number one, know who you want to help. Who do you want to help? And if the answer is everyone, you end up helping no one. If it is to be, it's up to me, absolutely. Okay, so know who you want to help. Who do you want to help? Do you want to help moms? Do you want to help dads? Do you want to help single parents? Do you want to help people in the 40s? Do you want to help people in the 50s? Do you, like, if it's, I want to help people, not enough. It's not enough. For those of you asking, they can't, why they, for those of you asking if they can't see the whiteboard uh, or the flip chart, whatever you want to call this digital whiteboard thing, uh, we, we actually stream this on YouTube and on Facebook. So uh, if you want to watch the replay, the recorded version, it's going to be on YouTube. Uh, and I have no intention of taking it down. All right, so number two. What pains do they have? So who do you want to help and what pains do they have? If it's I want to help people, I want to help everyone to improve. Improve with what? Right? I want to help mums to what? I want to help mums to gain their confidence. Great. What pains do they have? They have the pain of like when they look in the mirror, they're feeling old and they're like, oh, I feel so old. And they don't want to go on, out and leave the house because they're worried that people are going to go, oh, you look old. Right? What are the pains that your who has? Number three. Now this could be in, this could be done in a few different ways, but why do you need to help them? Like, 
Why do you need to help them? Are you helping them? Like, is the reason because you want to gain? Is the reason because you want to feel good helping them? Is the reason because you want to serve? You want to serve a community? Is the reason because you have had that story and you know you can help someone else? Is the reason because you want to earn some extra money? Like, what's the reason why you need to help these people? Number four. Know how you can help them. How can you help them? Is it with your product? Is it with your business? What is it? And last of all, know that you have the gift. Know you have the gift. And here's the thing, guys. You're going to give gifts to people. And some people are going to be super, super excited about it. Some people are going to go, oh, that's nice. Some people are going to go, oh, that's rubbish. Throw it away. Some people are going to go, oh, I've had, I've had this gift already. But as long as you give the gift because you believe it's a genuine, you genuinely believe it's a good gift, that's all you need to do. Because all you can do is all you can do, but all you can do is enough. That was Art Williams who said that. All you can do is all you can do, but all you can do is enough. So know who you want to help. Know what their, the pains they have are. Know why you need to help them. Know how you can help them. And then know that you have the gift. You don't just have the gift because you are the gift. There are people at home waiting for their phones to buzz because they've received a message from you or waiting for a live to be on their feed or waiting for a video to come up on their feed with the solution to their pain because they're in agony. They're hurting. They're lonely. They're lacking, they're lacking connection. Whatever it might be. All right. Whew. Welcome back to Tuesday Night Lives. <laughs> I hope you got value tonight. So, before we wrap up, uh, next week's a big week for me uh, and for the network marketing community because we have uh, this year's Dare to Dream event. Some of you guys, and, and you, some of you guys know what Dare to Dream is. Some of you guys don't. So I'll just take a moment talking about it. Um, if you want to dro drop off, you can. But Dare to Dream is our annual event here in Dubai. Next year, we don't know where it's going to be. We're going to make a decision in the next uh, the next couple of days. Um, but it's here in Dubai. We have about 150 people from 40 plus countries come in um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday next week. A um, mm, little bit of popcorn there. Just uh, decided it wanted to leave my mouth. Okay. Uh, so yeah. 150 plus people come in from 40 plus countries here in Dubai, three day event, absolutely incredible. And we just decided, we, we don't usually do this because it's a thousand dollar event, thousand dollar plus event because it's high level. Um, and it's just obviously not for everyone. That's usually why, why ticket prices is, is high to, to make it more of an important decision because we want decision makers in the room. Um, but for anyone who wants to be a part of the event from the comfort of their own home, then you can actually join us on our live stream. Now, the live stream is not, it's not like a $20, $50, $100 thing. It's, it's a significant investment. Um, but if you go to Dare to Dream event, I don't know if it's going to actually come up on your, on your screen. Uh, but if you go to daretodreamevent.com, for those of you on Instagram, if you comment the word dream, you will get the, you will get the event. Uh, you'll get the link. But if you're on Facebook or YouTube, you can go to Dare to Dream event. That's Dare to Dream event. I've left the link there somewhere. And you can actually check it out. Um, again, it's three days, 18th, 19th, 20th of April. I'm super fired up about it. The quality of people, the type of people, say they're all the people who are knowing that they're going through the MLM curve, knowing what they want to get um, from it, and they're coming to learn, right? Level up. So I'm super excited. I'm super, super, super excited about this. It's my favorite event of the year. It's only the second time I've done it, but last year it was just unreal. The energy was great. The people were great. I get to meet everyone as well because it's, it's such an intimate crowd. I get to meet everyone. Uh, we only have three tickets left, uh, maybe two actually. Uh, I think we've got two tickets left for in the room. Uh, so we'll be sold out by, by Friday, basically. Uh, but that, that means that anyone who cannot make it uh, wants to watch it on the live stream, you can. And we have something 
very special for the live viewers um, because we actually have a live stream host, um, one of our Inner Circle mem members, mentors, uh, Loz Booth. She is actually going to be running and hosting that. So during the breaks, she's going to be going up to speakers, asking them questions. I'm going to go do some Q&As on there. So it won't just be uh, like watching the, 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 the event in person from the comfort of your home. There'll also be some additional stuff as well. So go to that link, check it out. I think it's $147 right now. The price will go up on Friday to $197, and then that will be the price until um, we kick off on Thursday morning. All right? So I appreciate you. Big love to each and every single one of you. I'll be back next Tuesday, um, 7 p.m. UK time. I really appreciate you, and I'll, uh, I'll see you soon. All right? Kisses to you all. Ciao.